Está listo. Hermano, está listo. Listo. Happy New Year, everyone. Praise the Lord. Kind of loud, huh? I know, man. God is so good. I'm so excited about what God is doing in 2015. I, I decided I'm going to make this a wonderful year. And kind of because it's really my choice. I, 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 I've got some New Year's resolutions I'm going to try to keep this year. Um, my, my first one, I got three of them. My first one is, um, I'm going to love the Lord, thy God, with all my heart, soul, and mind. My second one is, I'm going to love my neighbor as myself. And I kind of figured I got to have a third one. And I kind of figured I'd go with 1 John 3, 8 and just destroy the works of the devil. So I kind of figured if I do those three, I'm going to have a pretty good year. How about you? You guys ready to worship? You know, Matthew 6 talks about three things. Today we're kicking off the first day of a 21-day fast. And in Matthew 6, it talks about the three mandates of the believer. It says, when you pray, which means not if you pray, but when we pray, right? When we fast, not if we fast. And when we give, not if we give. So I kind of figure those are the three things that Jesus kind of just spoke into us that this is what I want you to do. I think if we do it this year, we're going to have a pretty good year. Amen? So let's stand. Holy Spirit, I just thank you for your presence here. I, I thank you because, Lord, I know you've got plans for us. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Lord, I just pray right now that we just fall in alignment, Lord God, with your word. Lord, we're not looking to the left. We're not looking to the right, Lord God. We're looking to the hills where our strength comes from. And right now, Lord God, we're going to worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord God. And the truth is, Lord, you love us, Lord God. So this is a good way just to worship you, Lord. So we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go after God this morning, guys. Come on. If you know this, we're going to sing it out together. Come on. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Come on, every chain. Every chain is broken through you, Jesus. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Whoa. Come on, sing it out. Whoa. Set the captives free. Aren't you guys glad you're free this morning? You came to bring us liberty. Oh, my sin, my sin, and my rejection met your blood and my acceptance. Now I'm alive to bring you praise. Come on, with the Spirit, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is. Spirit of the Lord, there is freedom, and every chain, 
every chain is broken through you, Jesus. Yeah, with the Spirit of the Lord, is there is. Sin. Come on, put your hands together. Your grace empowers me to win. In my pain, my pain and my depression met your blood and my acceptance. Now I'm alive to bring you praise. With the Spirit of the Lord, there is. Sing it out. Let me hear you. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And every chain, every chain is broken through you, Jesus. Come on, let's celebrate. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Whoa. Say it. I'm free. Come on. I'm free. I'm free to dance. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free to worship you. Calling all angels, 
calling the watching angels on the walls to come and sing with us calling all angels calling the watching angels on the walls to come and sing with us
shall void glory with everything with everything we will shout seen anything yet. You haven't seen anything yet. Twenty fifteen is gonna be a year of breakthrough. It's gonna be a year of release. It's gonna be a year of miracles. It's gonna be a year of promises. This year is gonna be the best year you have ever experienced in your lives. Just keep that thought in the forefront of your mind. You haven't seen anything yet. Nothing yet. We're stepping into the more, we're stepping into the more, we're stepping into the more, we're stepping into the more. Stay with it, stay with it, you're all right. I was battling in my head to even do this, and when Jason spoke, I had to listen. 
He's right. It's a transitioning point for some people today, and this is what I hear in my heart. God is saying, why would you be living a life you weren't created for? Why would you be living a life you weren't created to live? And you might say, well, Pastor, what are you saying? I really feel this strong, and it, it, it's incredibly challenging me for even to talk about, but I really see this in my spirit, and it's, it's overwhelming me. Stay to get set free. Pastor Rick spoke last week and he prophesied over the house. I don't know if you understand, but when he's speaking, he's actually prophesying over the house and he talked about a time of promises, manifestations, and being set free. What I saw in my heart is very heavy, but there were people that were doing things behind the scenes that you think nobody knows about. And this is your moment. God is saying, why are you living a life you weren't created for? You thought nobody knew, but God said, I knew all along, and there was never a moment I didn't see you. You weren't created for that. You weren't created for that. Why would you be living a life you weren't created for? This is your moment to get set free. It's the first Sunday of a new year. Listen to me. It's not about marking a calendar. It's about marking an encounter with God. Calendars do not mark your life. Encounters with God mark you forever. It's not about turning a calendar. It's about having an encounter with heaven. And when you have an encounter with heaven, it marks you and your life's forever changed. I'm going to say this, and I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to belabor this. I heard very clearly in my heart a number I'm not even going to talk about. But there are several people in the house right now. And what I want to say is this. And some of you, you already know Holy Spirit's already thumping your heart. Why are you living a life you weren't created for? This is your moment to get set free. This is your moment to be done with that living. This is your moment to just say, you know what? I'm going to get set free. Here's what I got to tell you. Jason said, we're stepping into the moor. When he started singing that, I couldn't not come up here. I would challenge you. Here's how you're going to get set free and know it. You step into something. As we begin to worship, listen to me. And I just want to go after it, guys. I want you to go after this. And, 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 and oh. You know that we did Oh Happy Day in the first start? I want to do that right now, okay? And I don't want to mess you up. I just really want to go to that if that's okay. Because here's what's going to happen. There's some people that are going to get set free when we start singing this. And, and I'll say this, and boy, I'm going to challenge you with this, but it's about stepping into. I've not felt this heavy about something in a long time, so please hear my heart in this. Why are you living a life you weren't created for? Why would you live a life you weren't created to live? I'll even go after it. I have to. If you got caught, you might even be in prison. That's what I heard the Lord say. If you got caught, you might even be in prison for it. And God is saying, this is your moment to get set free. You know what's going on. Now listen, there are people that are, are caught up in stuff, and I'm not even going after all those kind of things. I'm simply telling you, there's a place of getting set free. And here's how you get free. You step into it. You step into it. You step into it. So I'm going to challenge you. When we start singing, oh, happy day. You might want to step into something brand new in your life. It might be that you step into coming up on this brown carpet and just worship it. Because I'll invite you to come. And you know what? You're, you, you might just need to get set free from fear. You might just need to get set free from unbelief or doubt. You might need to get set free from, from challenges of people's opinions. Because people's opinions have been too strong in your life. But I'm telling you there's something. I heard very clearly in my heart that there were some people that were going to get set free right now. And I'll tell you what that makes. That makes a happy day. That makes a happy day. When you get set free, I'm telling you, when you get set free and you know you've been set free, like it's not even a challenge anymore. God, I just thank you, I'm the freest man on the planet. There's something about just knowing, you know what? You're set free from the opinions of man. You're set free from the fear of people. You're set free from, man, I gotta please everybody. That's the dumbest way to live, let me tell you by experience. But listen, here's the reality of that. You can be so free today when you leave this place. Not because it's the first Sunday and we marked a calendar, but because you had an encounter with a living God. As we begin to sing, you might just want to come forward just to worship and get crazy, and that's absolutely fine. Then come forward, worship, and get crazy. Let's go after God. But I'm telling you, there's something about just getting set free. So as we begin to sing this, I'm going to challenge you. Meet me here on the brown carpet. I'm telling you, God's going to set some people free. I heard this in my heart real clear, and, and, and I might even come and pray for some. I don't know what God's going to do, but we're going to go after it. Let's do this. Come on. 
greatest day in history. Death is beating you, how rescue me. Sing it out. It's Jesus time. It's time. Come on. Alive. Come on. Across the empty yeah. Rain. Life Woo. eternal, you have won the day. Sing it out. Jesus is alive. Come on. Come on. It's your time. Free at last. Free at last. Come on. The greatest day in his story. Death is beating you, how rescue me. Sing it out, Jesus is alive. Empty cross, the empty grave. Life eternal, you have won the day. Shout it out, Jesus is alive. He's alive, yeah. Woo! Face to face, I am yours, Jesus, you are mine. Come on. Endless joy, perfect peace. Earthly pain finally will cease. Celebrate, Jesus is alive. Come on, let's celebrate. He's alive, yeah. Expect more. 
more. The more you expect, the more you receive. This is the year, 2015. Let me tell you what God told me. The 20 is divine. 15 is rest. You know what rest means? We think about it, oh, I'm resting. But guess what? In the day that Ziklag was burned, David went up and he said, shall I go up, God? He said, go up. And he said, go get the rest of the stuff. Some of you are getting the rest back. The rest of your peace. The rest of your joy. The rest of your family. The rest of your victory. The rest of your healing. The rest. So step into the blood. Oh, and oh, happy day, happy day, she watched when I sit away, oh, happy day, happy day, I'll never be the same, oh, forever I'm changed, Jesus, yeah, I'll never be the same. Don't stop shouting. Don't stop shouting. Come on, give God everything. Come on, give God everything. Give God everything. Thank you, God, for the more. Thank you, God, for the more. Woo! I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same. Declare it over yourself. I'll never be the same. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, glory. I feel like God is saying, Mark this day. Mark this day. Mark this day. This will be a day that you'll be able to look back on in the future and say, I remember that day and where I was that day. And man, I can't believe God brought me so far from where I am to where I was. This day means so much, so much. It's so much more than just a date. It's so much more than just a season change. It's an everything change, an everything change. Glory, God. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells we're Stirring up deep, deep waters We're gonna dance in the river Dance in the river Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells Stirring up deep, deep waters We're gonna jump in the river, jump in the river. Sing it, I got, and I got river, living water, a fountain that never will run dry. To open heaven, we'll release it, and we will never be denied. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells, we're stirring up deep, deep waters, we're gonna dance in the river, dance in the river, cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells. Stirring up deep, deep waters, we're gonna jump in the river, jump in the river. The deep cries out, the deep cries out to, deep cries out, the deep cries out to. So we cry out, so we cry out to you, Jesus. Deep cries out, the deep cries out to, deep cries out to. 
Just keep playing. I, just, I don't know what we're going to do. 
I just know this. It just feels so right here. And there's people getting set free all around you. And that's just the most amazing thing on the planet. And and you know the the truth of the matter is? Sometimes the very thing I got to get set free of is me. Sometimes we get so worried about what everybody thinks and says and does. Why don't we just work on pleasing him? I just, I just feel like if I can make him happy, a few of you might get happy. <laughs> and it's okay. But, but it's all right. Because watch, in the midst of all that, there's just a place of just saying, God, you're just good. And we're celebrating you today. Because I think it should be about him. I just think we ought to celebrate him, and, and, and that's really what matters. We'll, we'll get all the things that we need to get and do all the things we need to do, but, man, I just feel Jesus in this place. Do this with me. Join hands with somebody close to you. If you're visiting here today and you're not used to this, it's Jesus. It's okay. It's good. It's good. (laughs) It's the sound of freedom. It's the sound of joy. When we were singing, oh, happy day, the, the best part of that whole song is endless joy and perfect peace. And earthly pain finally will cease. Oh, whoo, happy day. Not when we get to heaven. Happy day he washed my sins away. Woo. You join hands with somebody right now that Jesus is in love with. God, I just thank you right now for outpourings of your love, outpourings of your grace, outpourings of fresh mercy. God, I thank you. It's a day of double portion blessings. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for double portion blessings. God, I thank you. As we celebrate, Lord, this fast, as we celebrate this new year, as we celebrate first fruits, uh, as we celebrate, Lord, a, a, a calendar marking a new beginning, God, I thank you that we're having encounters that are marking new beginnings. Encounters are marking new beginnings right now, God. And Father, I just bless what you're doing right now. I just thank you, God. I just thank you, Lord, that some today are claiming their blessing. They're claiming, God, their mountain. They're claiming, God, with confidence, Lord, that you are Lord of all. And, God, we give it to you right now. So I bless what you're doing and say, thank you, God. Your goodness knows no bounds. Your love and grace is immense. God, we bless you. God, we bless you. God, we bless you. God, we worship you. We claim today, God, that double portion blessing. And for some, a double, double portion, God. Father, we speak that, God. And I bless what you're doing. And we declare it into the atmosphere today. God, it's a day of blessing. It's a day of favor. It's a day of grace. It's a day of mercies. God, new mercies every morning. God, I thank you for freedom. God, I declare freedom. Freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom today, freedom today, freedom in Jesus' name, freedom, yeah, my God, my God, you're good, my God, you're good, yeah, woo, God, God, phew, the cross is our statue of liberty, and we declare freedom uh, because of Calvary. God, I bless what you're doing, and we celebrate your goodness. Jesus, you love us. Jesus, you love us. I want to do communion. Phew. I feel this right now. If If you've got one or you can get to one, grab a communion cup. You want to do it?
Let me tell you something. When we declare freedom, can I tell you that that's what this cup represents? Oh, everything you need to live and walk in freedom is inside this right here. Everything you need to live and walk in freedom, everything you need to live and walk in the fullness of all that God's called you to is right here in the cup and the wafer. You've been liber liberated, that's the word. I want to say libertized. <laughs> we'll make it up. <laughs> You've been liberated right here. This speaks to your liberty. This speaks to your freedom. This speaks to your joy. Oh. Do you understand the power and the freedom and the healing that comes in the communion? Come and on. what the communion truly represents, the life, the death of our Savior, of our King, His willingness to give it all, to leave the heavenlies, to come here on earth, His love for us, Jesus, my best friend, my big brother, because I am a daughter of the King, because you are a child, you are a daughter and a son of God, that makes you family with Jesus, with our Savior. He is my big brother. He is my bully protector. And he protects me. And he heals me from when Satan tries to come and destroy and challenge and put things in my life and in my way, my bully protector comes and he rescues me. His love for us was so immense and so great that he left the heavenlies. He left them. He left the angels that was singing glory and holy. He left it. And he said, Father, I will go for them. I'll go for my little sister. I'll go for my little brother. I'll go for them. And I will save their life. And I will give my life for them. He said that to the Father. He said that. He was willing. And he came. As you begin 2015, as you begin this year of fasting, as you step into more, as you step through that open door that has already been opened and prepared for you, do it every day with communion. Take your communion every day as it represents his love. It represents his life. It represents his death. But more than that, it gives you your healing. Your healing of your body, your physical healings. It gives you emotional healings in your mind. It gives you healings of your relationships. It gives you healings in your job. It gives you healing of your whole being. How many needs a financial healing? It's the whole healing. He gave everything and left it all to come and walk with us. Be our example to just be and to give and to love. You get that opportunity. In the communion, there's healing. The cracker represents and you know don't make it religious because he didn't the world did the past did history did but don't you do because we're learning that communion is called communion meaning communicating with the father so you do it how you need to do it. You could do it with a Cheerio if that's all you got. This represents his body. His body that was so badly bruised, that was so whipped and scarred, 
This represents his body that was given so freely that day on the cross. We just celebrated his birth. Now celebrate his death in the communion because of the healing there. This represents everything that happened on Calvary. This represents the cross. This represents this. His body was so mutilated that day, but he did it because his love for us, his family, his love for us was so immense. I want you to sit for a moment and think for just a moment as you're partaking in the communion. Think about his life. Think about his death. Think about your life. Think about this fasting time. Think about stepping through that open door. Right now, what do you want in this season right now? What do you want? What more do you want? In this season of fasting, don't let it be about how you fast or what you're sacrificing in your fast, because that's personal and that's okay, however you choose to do it. Don't put too much emphasis on what you are or are not eating or giving up, but make it be about the relationship that you're building with Jesus, because his love, his love is so immense that he gave so much in the communion. Now take the wafer. Thank you for your bruised body. Thank you, Jesus, for the whipping you took. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood that was shed that day. Thank you, Jesus, for the crown of thorns that you allowed them to place on you. Thank you, Jesus. You literally became a blood sacrifice for us because he didn't have to. He could have spoke and the angels could have came and rescued him immediately off that cross. But he chose willingly, willingly to stay. The juice represents his blood that he totally was covered in. Totally. Top to bottom. The nails that pierced his hands and his feet. And the beating that he took at the whipping post, the stripes. What does the word say? By his stripes, we are healed, wholly healed. What healing do you need? Spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, relationshiply? What healing? What do you need? Because, see, he already, he already did it. He already took it. It's already finished. This is the representation of that healing for you right now. So when you drink, think of your healing. Go ahead. Isn't the cup sweet? Isn't the juice sweet? Because his love is so sweet. His healing is so sweet. It is so pure, so holy. It is so good. So in your fast, these next 21 days, 30 days, 40 days, there's so many different things that are going on right now. Thank you for participating in this house, however you choose. Remember the communion. 
and remember the healing and participate and go deeper and deeper and deeper and step through the open door that is already prepared. It is already there. What's on the other side of your door? What do you see when you step through? What do you visualize through that open door? What's there? What's there? Amen. Amen, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. On that note of that tremendous sacrifice that was given, Pastor spoke in the first message this morning of something that just uh, inflamed my heart, and it was incredible. But while we're doing this fast, and however you see fit to do your fast, He said, what is it that motivates you to do your fast? My motivation, let me share with you real quickly. My motivation came about 2 o'clock Saturday morning. I woke up and I couldn't sleep, so I went down to pray. I went down to pray and the Lord spoke to me and says, the priests need to continue to put the logs on the fire. Continue to fan the flame. The priests need to continue and make sure that the fire doesn't go out. And I'm saying, okay, God, I I understand that. But he said, no, the fire on the altar will consume your sacrifice. Have you ever driven by a place and you know that somebody's burning those leaves? I don't know how many people like that, but I don't like the smell of burning leaves. I don't think that's a pleasure that the Lord would, you know what I mean? So when I put my sacrifice upon the altar, I want that sweet smell to go before heaven. That's my motivation, my sacrifice. Whatever it is, whether it's coffee, whether it's tea, whether it's Oreo cookies, whatever it is in your heart, when you, listen, when, the, when you put, when you fan that flame and say, Father, I'm giving this to you because there's somebody out there who's expecting me to have a revelation from you. In the year 2015, I expect to touch more people than I ever have in my life. Amen? I expect that. I don't hope that. I expect that. Glory to God. A couple announcements this morning. After the offering, the teens are going to the loft. Is that all right? Amen? And and, uh, where's Matt? The teens are going to the loft. uh, They have their service up there. That's incredible. Thank you for that. Uh, Wednesday night uh, after... Uh, Wednesday night uh, or is taking on uh, the, the, the classes again. Pastor is in the book of James. It's a good book. Yeah, he's in the book of James. So come on out. And there's other things for your family. Come on out. And um, oh, after service today, if I can get just a couple guys or ladies to help me out, we got to bring the, the Christmas boxes back in from the garage and just to set them up in the social hall. That way... They're already in the house, and maybe my wife will do something this week. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> okay, I'll probably do it. No, hallelujah. But that way we can uh, get the boxes and stuff in here ready for next Sunday. Now, if you're available next Sunday, please bring a covered dish. Join us. I, I thank the Lord for the new faces that help us set up this holiday season. That was incredible. So, uh, Come on back out. Bring us a, a, a Daniel-friendly, uh, a, a fast-friendly uh, dessert or, 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 or a meal or whatever, and join us next Sunday, would you, and help to take the decorations down. Pastor Lori, amen. Bless you. 
Don't you just love how when you come into the house, you never know what to expect? A few minutes ago, Jason had us up here jumping around and hollering and, and doing, oh, happy day. And then we went from that right into, into an intimate time of his presence. It's just like daddy's like that, you know? You just, you never know. And I just, I think that's so cool. Aren't they an amazing team? They can just take us from one moment to the other, and I just, I so enjoy that. If this is, um, you're doing a, a, the, the fast along with us, the 21 days, which starts today. Yay. And um, so if um, you're doing that along with us, and you've never done a fast before, and this is new to you, um, raise your hand. Okay? I saw your hand up first, sweetie. Come up here. I have a book for you. There's some more fasting material out on the table and out in the bookstore. I believe Jody has uh, deemed in the bookstore this is a, a sale month on fasting stuff. I'm not sure. I think it's a 20% discount on all fasting items. And she also has some communion out there for you to also purchase if you would rather use the communion cups instead of going and buying juice or whatever. But um, check it out. If you have some questions about fasting and what is that all about and how do I do this. Stop off at the table after service um, and we have some greeters out at the uh, fasting table that will answer any questions that you may have about how does fasting work and what is this all about. Just stop off. They'll, they'll be um, welcome to answer any of your questions that, that you have for that. Um, let this 21 days, 40 days, 30 days, whatever you're doing, let's just change your life as you step into the more and the more and the more. If you're a first-time visitor in our house this morning, we do have some greeters that have some welcome packets for you, and they want to greet you and give you a welcome packet. And at the end of service, there's a gift for you out at the Welcome Center. So raise your hand very high if you're a first time in the house and keep them up until they get to you um, because they're placed all over the building and I'm not real sure where they're all at. So keep your hands up very high. Thanks, everybody, for um, coming out and being with us this morning and just being part of Keep your hands up really high. Way in the back, there's Annette. Turn around that way. There you go. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and being with us. Um, remember, this is our beginning of the year, so we have our, our first fruits, January, with our sowing and our giving. If you were not here on December 7th when Pastor and I shared about first fruits, there is some CDs that are free for you. Pick them up at the Welcome Center, go out and ask the girls and the guys at the Welcome Center, hey, can I have one of those free CDs on first fruits? And they'll give it to you, and you can... Um, you maybe wasn't here that particular Sunday, and you want to hear the message on what is first fruits and what's that all about. You want to set your year up right. You want to set your year up right with your, your fasting, your praying, your communion, and giving of your first fruits. I truly believe that's how I am blessed, is through giving of my first fruits throughout the year. Let's all stand. Father, thank you for the opportunity to come into your house this morning and to praise you and to give you glory and to hear from your word and, and to just build relationships and meet new friends, Lord. Thank you for this day and what it all represents. Thank you, Father, that I have the opportunity now to return back to you the tithe that you gave me, that now I can come here and I can give them back and I can return them to you. And I get to place my offerings here. But thank you, Father, also for my first fruits. Father, I pray that everyone in here now that is giving of their offerings and giving of their tithes and giving of their first fruits, Father, bless this time and bless this year. Let this be a year of multiplication in relationships, in family, in meeting new people, touching new lives transformation in our lives and going more and more deeper with you. Jesus, we love you and thank you in your name. Amen and amen. The passion burning me